going on, guys? Welcome back to an episode of Garage Edition. It's Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday. You ready for Garage Edition? Because I'm ready. All right, so today, so Monday in the last episode of Garage Edition, we installed my door panels. Look pretty good. I haven't really got to touch them since then. Um, so eventually I'll get speakers and stuff. I'm actually looking into this paint that I want to order. I think it's going to be pretty sweet when I paint it. Later on down the line right now because I still have to build one for the driver's side. But we're moving on to another project because we're not going to show the driver's side because well, I just showed you how to build one. But it's still in a work in progress. But today we are going to be working on my seat mount brackets. Now I bought some more metal. I went ahead and bought some. Bought a new grinder too so when I can cut it. But the best thing is I told you I was going to buy one of these. I got a miter saw, chop saw, however you want to call it. So I bought it. I actually paid $45 for it from a pawn shop. I love that. We've got this. I installed a cutting blade on it. Got my grinder, but we're going to use this. I didn't come with the clamp, so I had to clamp it like this. So basically what we're going to do is I have it measured one inch right here this is right here and this will go right there so the seats will be welded to that so we're going to go ahead and cut that i got i got to cut two of them for the front and i actually measured it and everything and wrote it on my paper because remember we've got to build another one but i have all the measurements so i can cut it weld it be identical with this it'll just the cuts will be a lot better hopefully it welds too so I'm going to go ahead and cut this and then we'll stick it on here and weld it <coughs> guys so basically what we're going to do now is we're actually putting our tabs that we cut under here so right now we'll be able to drill a hole here and put our bolt and that will bolt to our floor so I left a little room all the way around this is a quarter right here and we're going to weld all the way around with the welder that way we'll have somewhere I put this under there because it will catch the wood on fire um, we'll weld around that way we'll have a place to put our bolt and we'll do the same thing over here so let's go ahead and get the welder out and get the welding Get me to put this back, put this one on, and you see I scribed if you see a line the piece. Now I told you I cut a piece off of this tubing that way, anytime I need to use it, I can use this. So basically, I just put this right here, drew a line, I know where that goes because we got to have at least this is an inch that way we could drill to have our bolt hole in there.
Alright guys, so we have our tabs and everything welded and we have our holes drilled where we need. Um, I know the welds don't look the best. I'm not a welder whatsoever. But on the back side, I did get a little bead going. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. That just happened. Anyways guys, um, we welded tabs on stuff, drilled the holes for them. Uh, I can't really put it in a truck right now because it is uh, dark outside. I had to throw this video together real quick because today's actually Wednesday. The video is going up tonight. Uh, I swamped at work all day. Apologize for that, but I did want to have a little bit of something and I wanted to work on something, so I grabbed the seat, uh, the seat um, bracket uh, <laughs> out of the truck and stuff. So Friday, we will mount the seat on the bracket, and if everything goes well, because they said it's supposed to snow this weekend, it's March. I don't think it's going to snow though, but everything goes well and stuff i'll throw the brackets uh the chair seat brackets on bolt the seat up to the bracket everything works good we'll bolt the seat into the truck we'll be bolting them in the truck um but we are going to build another seat bracket i do have the metal and everything to build that the chop saw works great really can't i i really i've not really fabbed anything up this is the first time i've ever made anything like this um but I'm really proud of it. It doesn't look the best, I know, but it's gonna be a deceit, thank goodness. But it's the first time I ever fab something up. I'm really happy with it. Um, like I said, I mean, it is, it is square though, so we can't, it, it ain't, yeah. <laughs> but the welding's not the best, um, but I do think it's pretty good. Back here's where I got that bead starting to go. But then it stopped. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's our seat bracket for now. Um, I put the tabs on because, as you see, the seat bracket sits like this in the truck. Back here, we'll drill some holes. I don't know what I, where the holes I want to drill yet. We'll drill, and it goes through the floorboard. This mounts to the truck itself. So we are getting... I had my mounting hardware, but I don't know where the hell I put it. I bought some bolts and everything to mount the seat to it. So what we'll do is, I'll take the, um, the seat runners uh, off with the seat brackets off and put it on, put it on here and uh, mark it up and stuff, and then we can drill holes, bolt it to it, and we, you know that way everything we know everything's uh, perfect. We want the seat to do good. I have all the measurements. I wrote all the measurements down. So basically, I can grab the metal and build one just like this hopefully even better but i build just like this for the other side because i still got to order the other seat and i actually still have to order uh no i have to order the other seat and we can make the seat bracket and everything yeah and then we can do it but once we get this this seat mount and stuff and once i get the uh other seat order and stuff we'll throw it in because I wanted to have the seat bracket and everything wrote down because if it turns out good, eventually we'll probably do it in the Super Ram because this was the ideal. I was going to do the Super Ram, but when it's your daily driver, I have to, I needed my back seat. So I was like, well, we'll do it in Colossus and everything. Uh, but yeah, so uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very long. I do apologize for that, but at least you got to see a little bit of fabricating work going on. I'm so happy. I'm starting to get all my tools together that I need to do this and to be able to do it precisely. Uh, next, I want a bench top grinder so I can grind stuff down pretty good because it seems like if you take a handheld grinder, you can never get exactly how you want it because uh, a bench top, especially small pieces, you can do it really precise instead of having to hold the whole thing. Um, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you could, just give us a like. Make sure you push that subscribe button. And as always, this is George. And I'm out of here.